Top Graves. Wow, that would be would be a change of pace. Kuzan okay. doing his best GBM impression from last year. You know, doing what Jin Air does, trying to play for the ultra late game. But this is not the team you really can do that very easily against. They're just so diveable early. Yeah. Looks like communication broke down for Whoa. just a minute because Kuro had no mana. Well, Trace doing a lot of damage to Smeb here, but takes a turret hit. Then here comes the TP. Might not even need it. <laughs> <laughs> Mine. Kuro decides that he deserves that kill. Flashes in for it. He's got to secure it. Like kill secured. Yeah, absolutely secured. Great items for early ganks. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, uh, fight up in top. A fight with between the minions and the gangplank ultimate. Yep. Oh, here we go. And hey, guess what? Trace curls back. Wow. And this time the kill goes over to Smeb. So they decide just to gank that over and over again. Oh, Curl being ganked now, he may be in a lot of trouble. Actually makes it out. Alti's like, you know what? I'll just walk up for this one. GP drops the alt. There's a gold card. Curl takes a lot of damage. He's gonna get killed by the turret. What? 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 Nice. All right. Never mind. Nice TP there from Kuzan. Yeah, that works. Okay, well, they messed that up was... the tanking of that turret. That's what actually happened right there. They... Well, doesn't have to when the threat of the ultimate zones them off their bottom turret for such an extended period of time. As much farm as he can. Aurelia has to use his ultimate just to tank some of this damage and keep the turret alive for another wave. Ever since then, it has been dominated here by Bray. Oh, Gorilla has no ult right now. They dropped the Gangplank ultimate, though. Peanut, Smeb on the run. Gorilla falls. Smeb turns around for a little bit of damage. Pilot taking some. They're going to have to give up that turret. They do. And going for any ganks here. We'll see what happens around the dragon. Jinair did get the first one. There's the arrow onto Kuzan. Flash gold card. GP drops the ult anyway. Kuro and Prey locked up in there. They do take out Kuro. Peanut and Gorilla have to run now. Jinair can just turn onto this dragon whenever they want. A lot of damage though. Smeb could still come in. They could still fight this 4v5. And Jinair is worried enough about it that they're approaching this one very carefully. Here comes Gorilla. Smeb and Prey right there. There's the engage. Gorilla low pops the ultimate. Smeb needs to back off right away. Prey caught by the tempered fate. Now he's in the middle of the team. He gets taken out. And Jinair winning this fight. Smeb has a chance to be a hero. Has to flash away though. And Peanut <laughs> going for the dragon. Oh, Ezreal got Smeb in the end. Peanut the only one left. We'll see if he can steal it. I don't know. The poke is good from Italy, though. Wow, four deaths right there. Very sloppy fight starting. Oh, man. I don't know, Peanut. I don't know if you needed to stick around for that one. They effectively got ace right there and only took out yeah. winged in response. Takes a bit of damage from that dragon. Oh, Trace. Uh, did end up with that red buff. Ash Arrow comes through. Dragon does go over to Jin Air, but the fight continues. Prey caught up by that tempered fate yet again. Knockup comes in. Prey low manages to flash out. Here comes Trace, so trying to blow up that Ash, and it looks like he may be able to do it. Stun for the moment. Prey on his own gets taken out. And Jin Air looking pretty good in that team fight. They trade 1-1, one, one, but Jin Air gets the dragon. They do lose the top tier two, though. Yeah, crucially, Smeb did not TP. He got the red buff, and then he yeah. just went to split push. He's now coming huh. in for a flank. Uh, can he corral the members of Jin Air? Well, there are some abilities down now for Jin Air, and Smeb wants to try to take that opportunity to get some kills. Kuzan and Pilot, very, very low. Kuro comes in. Pilot slowed oh, up. Oh, wow. He actually they... cleansed too early. Yeah. Early, late, anything like that. Kuro may be in trouble here. Locks in that gold card. It's spotted by the Scrying Orb. Here comes Smeb. And there's more. Rock Psychers members coming through. The arrow onto wow. Kuzan from across the map. Here comes Smeb right onto Gangplank. Gets very low. Kuro slowed up, though. Smeb grabs the kill anyway. A one-man army on this Gwyn. He's going to dive. I don't know. That's kind of dangerous, man. Yeah, he backs off. Yeah, uh, you'd expect them to have that up there a lot. Oh, uh -oh. Kuro, tempered fate. Locked in, there's a GP ult. He's going to just zone you. And Che gets low. Smeb comes in, helps Gorilla pick one up. Rocks Tigers, they don't care about the GP ult. That's two kills already. Peanut claims a victim, too. Spear misses wings. Here comes Kuro with the TP from the side. Rather the twisted fate ultimate. Winged in trouble. Pilot getting soloed by Prey on the left side of the fight. Tries to get away. Prey a bit low. Needs to be careful. They get it, they get TP it. He coming in. I'm just thinking about the Ezreal poke, man. 
What do you think about it? I think it's pretty strong, but looks like it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't get there in time. I thought it'd be a little bit quicker. True. Arrow comes through and Trace dodges it. <laughs> doesn't oh, matter, zoning stuff. arrow. Uh-oh, uh -oh, it doesn't matter. You might be dead anyway. Very close to dead. Oh, that spear would have done it. Forces Trace away anyway, and that's enough for them to take this inhibitor turret as soon as that tempered fate goes away. Wing comes back in, Gorilla zoning. And they can just go for that inhibitor anytime they want. That works. They don't need the inhibitor right now, though. They've got the lead. No need to blow it. Wait for that minion wave. That's right. Slow and steady. Yeah, well, I mean, not exactly slow, but pretty steady. Oh, the Rock Tigers are at least upping their average game time today from 32.6 minutes to yeah. higher, so Jin Air has been able to slow them down a tad, but... Well, you'd have to expect the team with the longest game time in the league to be able to slow these guys down a little bit, and that's what's going to happen. Gorilla Oops. tries for the flash, pulverized, missed it. Still going to be two inhibitors in the end. Uh, maybe just one. Maybe Gorilla will just die. Nope. There it is, second inhibitor. Gorilla's not going to die, uh, Doa. He has exhaust and his ultimate. I guess so. Did I say two inhibitors? I meant all three inhibitors. And when the Rocks Tigers start to win, they start to win very, very hard. And very convincingly. I think yeah. Han Solo must be like the, the Star Wars equivalent of the people who believe the Earth is flat. <laughs> Anakin slaughtering younglings. Oh, yeah, so, so we know. Prey caught up, cleanses out of that cocoon right away. Goodbye, winged. As soon as he comes down, should be gone. Kill already comes in for Ash, and it looks like the Rock Tigers have decided to end this game. Arrow into the fountain. Gorilla into the fountain as well for another one. Double kill. Helping Pilot pick one up with the uh, fountain laser. They really want this ace. Trace so low. Oh, man, they can't quite get him. Whatever. I guess they'll just have to settle. Oh, they did get him. All right, never mind. 2-0 for the Rocks Tigers.